So the, the workshop is a combination of uh, lecture material, reviewing the theory, and then bringing that theory into the, um, into the practical space. And so there's opportunity to work on dry bones um, initially um, and, and reinforcing some of the theory, and then we move into cadavers. And so in the cadaver prax, um, participants will get to perform two TPLO procedures over the weekend. Um, and it's amazing to see how much they learn from the first procedure and how much they carry through into the second procedure. One of the great benefits of the vet prac course over other courses I felt was the ability to do surgeries on cadavers, do surgery on cadavers multiple times and get a really good idea of the feeling of dissecting through tissue planes and cutting real bone over plastic models. And I think the benefit of having a workshop like this is that it's a controlled environment, it's a safe space and there's the ability to have real-time feedback from a number of different instructors um, that all have a slightly different perspective on exactly how to do things. So that diversity of opinion um, and learning from multiple people I think is the students an opportunity to really broaden their horizons and, and thought process on, on how to execute the procedure. Yeah, the experts are telling you how they do it, it's kind of good to mimic them first and then you can find your own way after that. I think one of the big takeaways, other than working on cadavers, has been everyone coming from very different backgrounds. Um, there's a lot of people that have a lot of experience with TPLOs and they're doing the course to solidify a lot of their understanding. So one of the great advantages of the VETPRAC TPLO course is that the clinicians actually have the opportunity to bring some of their nursing team up and there's a, a nursing stream that runs side by side with the veterinary stream. And in that stream, the nurses learn about a lot of the perioperative management, um, analgesic techniques, and just a lot of ways to help the surgeons set themselves up for success. So when they come back from the course, they're not on their own trying to establish a, you know, a, procedure, uh, a new procedure in an established hospital. They've got some more people there that understand exactly what needs to happen to get a good result for the patients across the board. Because the TPLA procedure is really not just about what the clinician's doing, it's about how the whole team approach this to try and get a good outcome on a large number of animals.